Hello, my name is Jan Imrante. Today, I'm going to discuss about descriptive design trend analysis. We have first the definition, descriptive research. It refers to the methods that describe the characteristics of the variables under study. This methodology focuses on answering questions relating to what and the why of the research subject. We can also call this the descriptive research as observational research method as none of the variables in the study are influenced during the process of research. Next, we have the trend analysis. When we say trend analysis, it aims to find patterns in data, such as this simple upwards trend. Trend analysis quantifies and explains trends and patterns in a noisy data over time. A trend is an upwards and downwards shift in a data set over time. You know, its purpose, the trend analysis purpose, is to spot a prevalent trend within a user group and or to determine how a trend develop or would develop over time. Next, we have the characteristics of descriptive research. When we say descriptive research, it is quantitative in nature as it attempts to collect information and statistically ana analyze it. Next is um, this characteristics is powerful research tool that permits our researchers to collect data and describe the demographics of the same with the help of statistical analysis. Next, we have the variables included in descriptive research are uncontrolled. They are not manipulated in any way. Mostly, this characteristics uses observational methods and thus the researchers cannot control the nature and the behavior of the variables under study. Next, we have descriptive research. Different sections of the same group are studied. Next is descriptive research points out the patterns between variables and describes them. Researchers can further study the data collected here. In this characteristics, it guides researchers to further find out why such patterns have been found out and the association between them. Hence, it gives researchers directions towards insightful market research. Next, let's proceed with the descriptive research method. When we say descriptive method, we have here four methods. Survey research, observational method, content analysis, case study method. In survey research or method, it includes recording the answer of the respondents through surveys or questionnaires. Surveys can include polls as well. In this method, it includes a detailed description of the subject or a topic. Next is we have observational and method, observational method rather. It is basically a technique that utilized for observing and recording participants. Its example of quantitative observation include observation of any variable related to numerical values such as age, shape, weight, height, scale. Con now, let's proceed with the content analysis. When we say content analysis, it is a research tool used to determine the presence of certain words, themes, or concepts within some given qualitative data. In content analysis, res researchers can quantify and analyze the presence, meanings, and relationships of such certain words, themes, or concepts. Right next, we have case study method. You can use the case study techniques for gathering of specific phenomenon. In this method, this method, which would enable you to study the situation. Now I have here an example of descriptive research title. This can be your guide on creating your own descriptive research title. Since I am in special education, I end up with this title. All right. The first one is challenges of the special education student in online and printed modular learning modalities. Next is the interest level of learners in the integration of the interactive online games in special education schools. That's all. Thank you for listening. I hope you learn from my report. Thank you.